Stefan in Sweden writes, Paul, I know you use tubes in the input stage of some PS Audio power amps, but what about using tubes in the preamp? My components are all solid state, Denifrips and Pass Labs, and I have no experience with tubes, but I've been curious about trying out a tube preamp. What's your take on that? And have you explored producing a PS Audio preamp with tubes? Well, <laughs> this may be an older question. I don't know, sometimes I don't know quite where all these questions come from, but yeah, not only have we experimented with it, but we build the BHK preamp, have for years, and that is all tubes. Vacuum tubes are wonderful. Here at Octave Studios, all our preamplifiers for the microphones, for the keyboards, for the equipment, all of that are all vacuum tubes. When I use uh, my friend Ivana Manley's Manley products, they're, they're wonderful products, and they're all vacuum tube based because they have a certain sound to them. There's a warmth and a richness to vacuum tubes. Now, sometimes though, I don't want that. I want more of a uh, unaffected sound. So I will then plug directly into the A to D converter and skip the vacuum tube. So it depends on the sound that we're trying to achieve when we're doing a recording. But yeah, we make a vacuum tube preamplifier. Now, does that mean that that's the best well, yeah, at the time when Bascom designed the BHK preamp with vacuum tubes, at that time, that was as good as it got. Is it the best? I would never go say that because I've heard solid state designs that blow away tubes. I've heard tubes that blow away solid state designs. At the end of the day, it's like cooking. You can't say this or that are always the best. We make, for example, an amazing, Terry, well, what we, Terry, my wife, makes an amazing grilled artichoke. I mean, the everybody that's had it just flips over it, okay? And we take these big, beautiful artichokes, cut them in half, boil them up, to where they're nice and tender, take out, you know, scoop out the, the stuff you don't want to eat, right? And then put olive oil, salt and pepper, put them on the grill and grill them. I mean, we're talking the Barbie, right? And nice and, oh, whoo. And then she makes this, this lovely chipotle sauce that has uh, some chipotle peppers and a little bit of mayonnaise, a uh, little bit of lime juice and they are to die for, but that's all in the prep. It's all in the way that she took those artichokes and did that. Now, somebody else can say, I don't like artichokes. Well, maybe you've never had one of these. Maybe every artichoke you've ever tried has been out of a can, or I don't know, but you get the point. It isn't so much about the thing, whether it's a tube or a solid state, it's the execution of the vacuum tube or the solid state. It's, here's a Steinway piano, fabulous sounding piano, but with me, I can't play the piano. It's not gonna sound very good. Put somebody on that can play, it's gonna sound like heaven. So. It's all about the execution. But yes, I love vacuum tubes in the appropriate place. They are wonderful. So I hope that answers your question. Thanks.